Uh, Sam and I are going to do sort of a tag team here. I'm going to go first, and I'm going to present uh, some ideas, and um, Sam is going to really talk about the vision that Louisville Central Community Center has come up with for West of Ninth. I'm going to be talking a little bit more about some of the impediments to that vision that currently exist and what we need to do, I think, about those. I'm going to move very fast here because we don't have a lot of time, and I've got a fair number of slides to go through. So let's see if this is all going to work. A vision for West Louisville. There it is. All right. This is, of course, a map of downtown Louisville, West Louisville, over to the left side on there. That is what we generally define as West Louisville in its broadest sense. River on the uh, north and west, Algonquin Parkway on the south, 9th Street on the east. Um, this is uh, downtown as it's more or less defined today. That's 9th Street, the red dash, the red gash running between it. And that star represents what I consider the center of downtown Louisville, 4th and Muhammad Ali. Now, I will note that when I moved to Louisville in 1980, downtown was more or less a square that ended somewhere around 1st Street, and that star was really in the center, pretty much, of, geographically, of downtown. Um, since that time, as we all know, we've had tremendous growth uh, in the east side, and downtown has now extended eastward quite a, a fair amount. It hasn't moved westward one inch since I've moved here, and that's interesting. Okay, this is the area I'm going to be concentrating on, that green rectangle right there. This is the map of that area. Thank you, Google Maps. Uh, here is 4th and Muhammad Ali, the star over here again to orient us. And I'll go very quickly through this. There is 9th Street, as Mayor referred to it, the divide of 9th Street that we all know about. There's Muhammad Ali Boulevard, formerly Walnut Street. And as you see, it runs right through the center of both downtown and the Russell neighborhood in West Louisville. Main Street, Broadway, 19th Street, just to give you an idea of how far out we're going. This is the Russell neighborhood. This is the east part of the Russell neighborhood. It is the interface between downtown Louisville, the Central Business District, and West Louisville. It is a very key area if we're ever going to bring these two together. Uh, all right, I'm gonna start identifying now um, some assets. We all know about downtown. We all know about the assets that exist there. We're standing in one of them. Fourth Street Live, Yelm Center, banks, restaurants, you go on and on. We don't know as much about the assets, I don't think, in West Louisville, so I'm going to point out some of those, because if you're going to connect two areas, it makes obvious sense to find where the assets are and see if you can't make some connections there. The green square up there is Central High School, Magnet High School, long tradition. Uh, let's see, right across the street from it, Coleridge Taylor School, Chestnut Street YMCA, there's the Western Library next to it. So we've got a little cluster there of sort of educational, cultural, and uh, institutions with a long history right on the west side of, of 9th Street. Um, the Urban League has its headquarters in the Russell neighborhood, a vital institution for West Louisville and for all of Louisville, really. Uh, there's a couple of green spaces up there, Baxter Park, Old Walnut Street Park, right across from 9th Street, I would say these are underutilized parks right now, but they are potential assets that I think we need to identify. I'm now going to move to some of the more recent developments in, in assets. Um, the Orange Star, the African American Heritage Center. Uh, over the past 10, 15 years, that I think 15 to 20 million dollars was invested in restoring, rehabilitating, and a beautiful job was done of the old trolley barns at 18th and Muhammad Ali. Uh, that center is a potentially great asset for the area, but as we all know, it needs further development, it needs further funding. We can't stop where we are with that, but that has the potential to draw people into the neighborhood uh, and to be a real catalyst for growth in that neighborhood. Junior Achievement, 15th and Muhammad Ali has its main operations in Louisville here. Thousands of high school age kids come there every year to participate in their programs. Louisville Central Community Center, 
that Sam and I are both involved with. Again, we're talking about a more than $10 million investment over 10 years, most recently a 3.5 million capital campaign that allowed us to finish the old Walnut Street project. LCC's community uh, uh, services have moved into that building. There are three floors that are looking for tenants right now. It needs development. It was built to be a job creator and a catalyst for this neighborhood. And it is, again, a tremendous asset. Hampton Place, a lot of people don't really know about this or, or don't consider it, but this is a mixed income uh, apartment complex developed in the 90s that um, if you were to go there, I think it would, it adds up to any apartment complex in Louisville. It's a very nice place. You would not know that there was Section 8 uh, housing in there as well as market rate. So it's an, it's an example of what we can do, I think, with a mixed income. Pioneer Park single family homes. Also in the 90s, there was a, a rehabilitation of this area, new homes built, some homes rehabbed. Um, from fairly modest homes, but again, very well kept up to some houses there that would fit in any suburb of Jefferson County. And if they did, they would sell probably for $300,000, $350,000. Okay, uh, Porter Paint. People don't think of that as an asset, but PPG has said, as we all know, they're not gonna be using that anymore. That is a potential asset that I think the city needs to pay very careful attention to how it's developed and make sure that it is developed in a way that enhances the Russell neighborhood and the assets that already exist around there. All right, so we've got some clusters here. College, Taylor, Central High School down there is one. We've got this large cluster of things that are not that old and there's been a lot of money invested and there's a lot of possibilities here. Downtown, I don't have to talk about that, I don't think we all know. In between, of course, is this wall of Ninth Street, as we call it. Um, again, we've got these assets, we've got that. How do we connect these two? You know, the writer uh, E.M. Forster had a famous phrase, only connect. That's what we need to do here is only connect. Um, but what's keeping us from that? This is something I think we don't like to talk about a lot. And I haven't heard much discussion about. But the fact of the matter is that between our central business district and, and all of these assets and the rest of West Louisville, we as a community have decided this is where we're gonna house the poorest families in our community. Um, in housing, it looks like most housing projects. It's kind of monolithic. Um, it's not very inviting. And uh, what we have done here is, this is the front door to the West End from downtown. In fact, I would call it the front hallway because it's four, four blocks wide and roughly four blocks long. And we're saying to people who come to West Louisville, here's West Louisville, you're here now, this is what it looks like. Now, the people, the families who live there let's be very clear, are not the cause of this problem. They don't live there by choice. They live there because this is where we have said we're going to house people who are very poor and need public or subsidized housing. Um, this is Census Tract 30. As you all know, by, with Census Tracts, you can, you can look at statistics of, of an area and, and the residents who live here. I'm just gonna read these real quickly because I think our time's going fast. Population in this census tract, all of which I may say is, is in this, uh, this housing area. 3,700, median age 22.7. Black or African American, 88.9%. Female head of household, 54.4. Median household income, 8,858. Median home value, zero. Unemployment rate, 16.6, .6, and that's, I believe, far understated. Bachelor's degree or higher, 0.8%. Um, what we have created here, in fact, is a wall of poverty between the area of town that has the most assets and the area that most needs them. Something is going to have to be done eventually if we're ever going to bring these two together. And my point in being here is to start that conversation. We've already had it at Park Duval. We've already done it at Liberty Green. 
We're doing it at Shepherd Square. We've already as a community decided that this is not what we want to do to concentrate poverty in one area. Okay, How, so what's gonna happen here? I've heard nothing on that and I think that needs to be discussed. One last slide, this is where there used to exist what I'm calling a black business district. In the days of segregation when black people could not shop at those stores on uh, 4th Avenue, this is where their shops were. This is where their entertainment district was. This is where they went to both work, play, and buy things. Early the world destroyed that in 1960s. Isn't it interesting how, if it were still in existence and, and could have been rehabilitated, how it would connect these two? I'm gonna turn it over to Sam now okay. to talk about the vision of West Louisville. All right, Dan, thank you. Uh, our response to this kind of presentation that Dan has made on behalf of all of us uh, is to see West Louisville quite differently in the future than we do today. Uh, the demographics that Dan referenced are very uh, solid and convincing that transformational change needs to occur. Uh, and so we've created a, a notion about trying to use one of the most famous uh, persons in the world, Muhammad Ali Boulevard, named after Muhammad Ali, uh, to create change, but also be, a be it an attraction for people who want to uh, share in that uh, expression of uh, envy, support, or whatever they think about Muhammad Ali Boulevard. He is known by people all over the world, and we want to use that boulevard for that purpose. And so we envision a really engaged community that really is focused on economic development. In fact, we believe that the transformation of West Louisville has to be centered around economic development, uh, a vibrant community in West Louisville, and a community that can generate jobs and opportunities for people who live west of 9th Street. And so we developed this vision uh, for West Louisville. We call it the west of 9th Street. Uh, joking around our office, we call it the boulevard. Uh, and it represents 12 blocks, starting at 9th Street to this end, all the way to 21st Street to uh, that end. And uh, within that, uh, that uh, 12 block area, we see a significant uh, transformational opportunity to create linkage to downtown Louisville, but also be a hub that attract people from all over the world, including our community, to do business, uh, to shop, to spend money in West Louisville. Historically, West Louisville and West Louisvillians have often had to spend money outside of their own community in which they live. We want to kind of reverse some of that and have a shared value around commerce and economic development in West Louisville. And so we've demonstrated through our vision uh, presentation the kinds of uh, developments that we think would fit well in West Louisville. We want it to be a shock and awe experience. We really want to transform this community. We want people in West Louisville to think different about where they live. We want people in Louisville to think different about West Louisville. And so we've used these kinds of uh, visual pieces to, to share with you our thinking about the type of development activity needs to occur in West Louisville. We're so uh, blessed to have uh, our mayor who has this vision for, being, for Louisville being a great city. We want that vision too. We want that vision to include West Louisville. And so we're trying to find ways to attract the investment and the capital formation that is needed uh, to change uh, that part of the community. We think at the end of the day that no matter what we do, if we don't understand that economic vitality of a community is essential for uh, creating the kind of quality of life that's important for family and children who live there, we're trying to make the case that now is the time to do that. And so this represents uh, a real effort to try to use Muhammad Ali uh, and create a very famous uh, connection uh, to this person that many in the world think and hold in high regard. Uh, and we see opportunities to do that throughout that uh, 12 block area. And the reason that we chose the 12 block area was because we didn't want to ignore the fact that West Louisville as a whole need economic vitality efforts underway. And so that 12 block stretch is for us to try to have impact uh, beyond the 9th Street border, as you will, and really begin to create opportunity for deeper into West Louisville. And we think the easiest and most effective way to do that is to use that Muhammad Ali Boulevard to create that kind of uh, centrifugal force that it's absolutely essential to create opportunities to have people see themselves quite differently. So that represents our vision. Uh, we think it's one that uh, needs to help start a serious conversation about change that needs to take place immediately, now. 
Uh, and we think that it's a worthwhile vision, it's an investment that is needed. I think, we think that the return on investment be trifold if we can find a way uh, to transform West Global where people who live there feel productive, feel engaged, feel a part of our economy, and act like they do, spend their money, create jobs for themselves and for their community, and create a vibrant uh, lifestyle that really supports the overall goals of our broader community, a great Metro Louisville. Thank you. That concludes our presentation.